Hi, this is a demo of the trumpet medals and low brass medals sheets. Um, in particular, page one, starting off with the full eight note scale. Have a bit of a listen. Watching out for all the extra flats, particularly E flats for trumpet and D flats for low brass, be that two and three or fifth position. <laughs> comfortable with that and you can maintain a beautiful sound all the way up to the high notes, um, make sure you can go downwards as well, you might be familiar with this rhythm. And the final challenge, if this is all too easy, play the scale in thirds, which is the fancy name for that pattern where you go up two steps, down one, up two steps, down one. The next tune on the sheet is Soft Kitty. This is a lullaby. Um, I heard it in the Big Bang Theory TV show. Um, but as a lullaby, you're meant to be playing in a calming, gentle, smooth, flowing kind of style. Uh, you are not allowed to sound rough. <laughs> There's a repeat sign. Um, obviously you want to try and keep your sound going smoothly all the way through to the last note and not let it kind of crackle out or cut out like mine did at the end. Um, Bob the Builder theme song. This uh, version that you can see is transcribed from the original Bob the Builder uh, version of the show, not the newer CGI version. They changed some of the timing in the tricky middle section. Have a listen. And the tricky thing at the end there for trumpets is that you have D flat down low. And the other name for that is C sharp. You might remember that from Fly Me to the Moon in the uh, step one technical repertoire pack. Trombones, your seventh position for low B natural is as far as you can reach with fingertips without the slide falling off. Um, final thing to mention there is that for trumpet players, this third valve slide that hopefully moves on your trumpet, for that low all three combination, you want this a little bit further out than usual. So you can play that whole final phrase uh, with it a touch further out, and that's going to make it easier to pitch that note and make it sound more in tune with the notes around it. Ideally, you would go from about there to about there between the E flat and the D flat notes. <laughs> Um, this can also be achieved by extending the first valve slide if that one works on your trumpet. So you'd have it about there for E flat and then you'd extend your first valve for that. That's the other way of doing it. On the back of the sheet you've got the two gold medal pieces, Advance Australia Fair and Happy Birthday. Now you already know how Advance Australia Fair sounds. The opening phrase is very similar to uh, the scale from the technical repertoire step three pack and also oh, there's another piece in there that starts that way um, Oh Bach's March. I think it's song number six. So I'll let you work that one out Watch out for high E flats on trumpet second valve and high D flats for trombone second position or second valve on baritone um, Skipping to happy birthday 
let's see how my trump, uh, trumpet chops are. Obviously, the trickiest thing is the third phrase where you're jumping the octave from F up to high F. And for trombones and baritones, that's E flat up to high E flat. You need to really anticipate how that's going to feel. Is it going to work for me? Let's find out. Long breath to start. That's why I've included the uh, two crotch arrests there. You don't have to think them. says writ on that third phrase. That's where everyone always drags the words back a lot. Um, Raoul would be a sudden pullback. Writ is a more gradual one. You can treat that however you like. And that's it. Good luck. Have fun. I look forward to hearing those whenever I see you next.